Hello, David here, and welcome back to my channel for a special video. It's that time of the year again in upstate New York when all the trees are turning yellow and orange and the leaves are falling down. In the past, I've used the two baskets on my tractor. I use these for mainly collecting grass, but during the fall time, I also use it to collect the leaves. So here's just a quick look at some of the trees I have. That's just one of them. Then there's a few more over there. I think a total I've got about 15 trees in my yard, including the willows in the back over there. This right here is the optimal amount of leaves to clean because as soon as I get any more of them, the grass starts to die and it becomes unmanageable. My only complaint with these bags is that they're not big enough. I can probably make two or three passes in this amount of leaves here before they fill up. I then go and dump them in the back over there. So I did some digging around on Amazon and I found this. This is a 24 cubic feet capacity bag that attaches in place of those two baskets over there. Before I begin though, I gotta replace one of the blades. Before I put the new bag on, time to do a quick run around and collect all the sticks. So I think you just put this down, throw this over, and just tighten this on the sides here. So it's actually pretty easy to tighten. You push this part forward, pull the string, and then it locks in place. Time for the other side. I think we need to do a little more. Oh, I think that goes inside. That way I'll be able to see it a little better. So I guess what you want is to make this hole as small as possible and tighten the straps as much as you can. All right, so here's what it looks like after I did just this upper section. And I'm totally okay with that. Most of these leaves now have been shredded up. I think this definitely beats spending three hours raking this every time. The bag, uh, it's getting there. I think I'm gonna go dump it now. It's getting kind of heavy too. All right, let's go dump it. So there's a spot way back in my backyard over there where I'm gonna go and dump it. This area looks pretty small on camera, but it's pretty wide. This is where I've been dumping all my grass for the last three years. Look at that willow. Squirrel. <laughs> Let's see what the process is to dump this thing. Gotta find the straps. So I could definitely feel a lot of tension on here due to all the weight. You just simply pull the ring in the back, it comes apart. It's easy. Okay. Oh yeah, that's, that's a lot of leaves. And my camera just died. That's cool. Now I gotta go get this one. I guess here's a size comparison. Here are the leaves and here's a normal size tractor. Just by looking at this, 
if I had the two normal bags on here, I'd probably have to dump it five times to get this much leaves here. So now it's a few days later. I didn't get a chance to finish mowing it on Wednesday. Today is Saturday and many more leaves have fallen. So this is a little side yard here. This is the area that I mowed and collected the leaves. There's not that many, but there are so many more in the back over there. And if I don't start now, then it's gonna become uncontrollable. So today I'm gonna to try something slightly different. I have this little 10 cubic foot trailer that I'm gonna to connect to my mower and have the bag be inside the trailer so it's not dragging. That's not going anywhere. The underside of the bag did get slightly dirty. This way the bag connects directly to the tube inside. So it's working, but I'm noticing that all the grass and leaves are leaning to one side. There's some in here, but most of it's back here. I just may have to do this every once in a while. Seems like it's all bunched up under here. Let's carry on. All right, so I got rid of the trailer, put the bag back on just like I did the other day, and let's see if this is faster or if the trailer method is faster. All right, without a doubt, I think we have a clear winner. I did this little section without the trailer much, much quicker than I did the bigger section with the trailer. And I'm looking back and thinking, maybe it was designed like this on purpose. <laughs> If they wanted it to be easy with a trailer, they would have designed it, so. So now it's conclusion time. Would I recommend it? Of course. If you already have a tractor and you already have the bins for collecting it, but you don't have that many trees, then maybe not. But if you have as many trees as I do and as much land as I do, then I definitely recommend it. Don't use a trailer though. I purchased this bag on Amazon and I'm gonna include a link down below in the description so you could buy it yourself. This will be an Amazon affiliate link. Thank you to everyone who made it this far. Thanks for tagging along and watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing content like this or content about smart home automation like I have been doing in the past. And as always, have a wonderful day.